Hey everybody, it's Scott coming at you with another edition of the Prize Pools. This is a special Halo edition with some very special selections, pre-flight numbers, special editions, one-of-a-kind Halos, where everyone who buys in wins. You're going to dig it, so check it out. A lot of people in previous episodes heard me talk about a potential Halo Edition, and that's what this is. There's going to be 47 pulls for this one, and there's going to be some special discs in there, some one-of-a-kind Halos, one pre-release. There's going to be some what people refer to as PFN, pre-flight numbers. The flight numbers weren't printed on them yet. Some early editions. A number of the discs in this episode have auctioned for more than $60, and one of the discs available has auctioned for more than $90. So all I'm saying is some of these discs are extremely Tasty. And again, you're guaranteed a win for every pull you purchase. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how our prize pulls work, they've been very popular. Initially, most of the participants in our prize pulls were local, and then as they gained popularity, we've had a number of people participating in our prize pulls from all over the country. There's also a link below if you want to watch one of the previous prize pulls. We're going to highlight every disc that's up on the block later in this video. But first, we need to cover how the prize pulls work if this is your first time participating. Now, if you're not familiar with how this works, keep watching, but if you've already participated in a prize pull, you can skip this next section which outlines the mechanics of how the prize pulls work. You want to skip ahead about two and a half minutes where you're going to start seeing if you're scrubbing through the video me holding up discs that are going to be up as prize pulls. First, let's talk about how a prize pull is going to work. This will be a live televised event from Disc Giant at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, Thursday the 16th, where you can come on down after the event and claim your prize, or choose to pay to have it shipped if you're from outside the area. When we have a prize pull coming up, you're going to see a post early in the week telling you to head over to the Disc Giant Facebook page for the deets, how many pulls are available, and the price of each pull. For example, this Thursday we'll have a special edition Halo prize pull. Each pull from this episode will cost $29, or two for 56 or the big deal three for 84 to get in on the fun and get your pulls head over to the disc giant facebook page where you'll see a numbered list of available pulls in this example 28 spots are available you'll see a numbered list from 1 to 28 so let's say eddie wants the 12th pull he's going to write 12 in the comments because he's the first person to claim 12 and that's now his spot the list gets periodically updated where eddie's name appears in the 12th spot meaning that spot is now taken maria wants 1 7 and 28 so she types those numbers in the comments. Again, the next time the list gets updated, we see Maria's name in those spots. This keeps happening until all the spots are full. Once the event is full, we square away payments electronically and update the list as people get their spots squared away. All pulls must be squared away by 4 o'clock Thursday or they become invalid. That means they've got to be paid for if you're going to get your prize for that pull number. If a spot on the list goes unclaimed, that prize is held for future events or returned to inventory. Now here's how the pulls work. On the Disc Giant Facebook page, where the event will be live televised, we'll have 47 prizes stacked up ready to be handed out and tickets will be ready to be awarded to the pulls. Tickets will be pulled out of the drum for each number of the pull. The first disc in the stack will be identified. We will pull the ticket and that prize will be awarded to the appropriate spot. All of the Halo prizes are going to be bagged, so once the ticket is pulled, it will simply get dropped in the bag and the top of the bag will be numbered with the corresponding ticket number for an easy find if and when you come into the shop or when we go to ship it right after we finish the broadcast. If you are not local and need shipping, when you go to pay for your prize pool, you're gonna need to add $4 per disc shipping. So let's get to it. All right, first up, as mentioned, we have a pre-release Halo Destroyer. The first time Halo was ever seen was when they were released at LVC as a fundraiser for the 2021 Japan Open that never happened. This destroyer, yeah, I mean, all, all the discs I'm showing you are brand new and unthrown and collector kept, and they're in a stack right now, but after we're done talking about them, 
I'm going to put them in bags, so you're going to get them bagged. And some of these are going to come with bonus items. But anyway, uh, characteristic of this release, you see super crispy pop top with a lot of glide. All right, so that's, to me, that's probably, well, it's among one of the best treasures in this episode. X-Cals, Halo X-Cals have been very popular when they have been available because to this point they've only been released for Innova partnered tournaments. This particular Halo, uh, Halo X-Cal has my art on it. Most of you are familiar with who I am and that people collect my stuff. This has a jelly bean foil. I'll try to get the angle so you can see. Uh, this has the artwork for, you know, see this is presented by Innova there for the After Christmas Crush. Uh, the, the, this run, when auctioned, auctioned for, I think the highest one got $65, and this was in December of 2022. So anyway, this is the last one I have in my possession. A very nice selection. Halo X Cal. This also has my art. This is a Halo T-Bird. This Halo T-Bird is a one of a kind. Uh, this whole run was stamped with the <sighs> Mystic Palm artwork from The Legend of Lizard Peak. There were only a couple that were made special for events such as this episode, and sometimes we give them away in raffle, raffles, they're called Easter eggs, that came with two stamps. They were These were created when they were setting up the run. So this particular Halo T-Bird uh, has one black stamp accompanied by a Wonder Bread stamp. Very nice selection. There were three total that were Easter egg Halo T-Birds that had double stamps from this run, and here's one other. Holographic Halo Blue Foil with Wonder Bread Foil on purple. Those two are available in this episode. Next up, Halo Multi-Foil Lucky Chains Halo Turn. Highly collectible, people love that stamp. It's great. Marmoset busted out that art with extreme expertise and efficiency. This is a uh, one of the first releases of Halo Shrike, older, uh, older stock you call it, but that's worth checking out. Another older stock, Halo Turn, cool color combo, gunmetal swirl with blue halo. Okay, here is uh, one of the early pre-Calvin destroyers. I think this makes this a 2021, but you're going to see a couple of these in here. Um, one of the first editions, or the first, one of the first times Halo Destroyer was released, and this is an apple green, another version of that with an uncommon blue, but um, uncommon American flag foil. Another disc that is has not been a wide release yet is Halo Orc. Orc was out of production for quite a while, now it's back. Not only is it back, you'll see them every once in a while for any of the partnered events, and this is one such example. So when we auctioned some of these, they went for up to, uh, I think this was $61 was the high bid on on one of, the, uh, one of the ones from this run. But anyway, one of the Halo Orcs is here for you with, again, my limited edition artwork. You see this crazy little guy throwing a disc. Hey, both of the artwork that I showed you on this episode have a dude throwing a disc. That's a guy from the Turkey Toss, little funky guy. I think there's a couple more of those in this pre-flight number, or I think this is the first edition of a Garrett Gerthy release, Halo Wraith. I believe this predates the Garrett Gerthy release, but I think this is one of the first releases. I have notes, but I'm not using it. I'm trying to bust through this quickly. A really nice color combo, older stock, older design, Halo Wraith. This one does have the flight numbers in there. When these have come out, they go super quick. People were freaky about this, but this is a great disc. Most of the time, Sonic isn't released in premium plastic, but Halo Sonic uh, is a disc to have. Double G edition in apple green. Here we have another first release of a uh, Double G Wraith, super poppy and purple with black halo and red foil. Uh, an on Scoggins. Leopard 3 in a gold copper color combo. Another early release, Halo Destroyer in red with black. A Calvin, what is this, 
2022, maybe it was the end of 2021 when they first started to play, I don't remember, it's okay. Calvin Heimberg Destroyer, no flight numbers on that guy. I don't know if any of them have flight numbers to be honest, but a black one of those, purple, very cool color combo. And Halo Polecat, another uh, example of a, uh, a very fanatical following for a disc, but a disc that is usually rarely, if ever, issued in premium plastic, but Halo Polecat has been popular when, it's, when it has been available for brief periods of time. Halo Star Polecat will be in this pull. Another Double G Halo Sonic, purple foil on blue. Another Halo Orc, black foil on purple. Another Halo Orc, copper on orange. A Halo Rock 3, we're gonna add some, just a bonus something here. Zebra foil, Halo Rock 3. I'm gonna grab a bag here. We're gonna keep this together. And we're just gonna go like this. Every once in a while, I'm gonna throw in a bonus. We're gonna, we're gonna figure out the bonuses in advance. It's gonna come with a swirl in of a mini bonus package on that Halo Rock 3. Halo Mako 3, holographic blue on green ectoplasm halo. Hey, you know what? Let's do bonus. Uh, people that are familiar with my art will recognize, some of them will recognize the decals. This Halo Mako 3 is going to come with a bonus sticker pack. It's all got my art on it and this giant stuff. There's a this giant magnet. If you don't know, I'm also this giant. Um, there's a one of those decals, uh, prismatic, this giant decal, another prismatic. This guy's called Master Blaster. He's done for one of my tournaments. We've got the Rudy King of Birds, my rendition. We got a Mystic Palm in there. Hey, cool, the Mystic Palm decal goes with the Mystic Palm Halo Mako 3. All right, this prize package, try to keep it moving. Uh, another early edition Halo Destroyer, orange creamsicle with Shatter Silver, holographic set, Shatter Silver, early edition double G Halo Wraith. Here we have a cool one. Why? Oh, it's another Own Sky of Leopard 3. But what's different about this one that makes it extra cool is this was a special 2021 Masters World Champion, and this one's got a jelly bean bonus stamp on the bottom. That makes those extra cool, in my opinion. All right, blue version of that with rainbow. One more Calvin Halo Destroyer. Those would be considered OOP out of print because they're not printing that version anymore. Anyway, look at it. Let's keep it going. Uh, older release or older version Halo Destroyer with a McDonald's color scheme. We've got ketchup and mustard going nuts on this guy. Awesome. One more. This will be the last one. Bold black on orange creamsicle Halo earlier edition destroyer. Let's get a bonus. Zebra Halo Mako 3 with Mystic Palm artwork. We're going to go like that. And we're going to put another sticker pack with magnet in this guy. All right. Ooh, there's still some uncommon things rounding this out, but we're going to start adding bonus packs. Halo Mako 3. Mystic Palm Art. Okay, this one's going to come with Double Stamped Lizard Girl Mini. That's also my art. We have a Halo Rock 3. This is going to come with Sticker Pack and Magnet. And when we do the, the prize pull this time, once we get to the prize pull, all the discs will be bagged and we will uh, put the winning ticket number inside the bag. That way you're not getting the winning ticket taped to your disc and then if you come to pick it up it'll be ready for you in the bag with the winning ticket or if we ship it that's how it's coming to you oh this is good halo double g emperor cool color combo but it's coming with a we're going to put this with a bonus matching not really matching but uh, uh a nice accent in of a mini and we're going to toss in a disc giant magnet uh here is a halo Pharaoh, Infinite Disc Halo Pharaoh. This guy's got multiple foils. We've got black and purple. It's not purple. It is, uh, I don't know if that's considered purple rose. It's, the stripes are so small, it's tough for you to see it, but it's a purple swirl. Maybe it's a cloud pattern. Tough to see with that much of it exposed. So, this guy's gonna come with, of course, this giant art, my art, three-eyed alien, Disc golf 
towel. Christmas edition Halo Mystere, before this came out, Halo Mystere was only available with very limited opportunities for Innova partnered events. This is going to come with a 2016 Five Dragon King of the Lake Mini. Some people, to some people that means a lot. Uh, I was a TD for it that year and I had separated into, into two separate A-tier events, one Pro Weekend and one AM Weekend. So, that's what that Halo Mystere comes with. It's looking like I will get through this video before people get in here. Okay, let's get another bonus for this Haley King uh, Limited Edition Halo Firebird. Dave, hit me with the bonus. Thank you, sir. Uh, coming with a speckled Zing Alien artwork uh, from that Elko tournament I did. Mini and that is a cool prize package. Hey Dave, hit me with some magnets. We're gonna add a magnet to this one. Halo T-Bird. Halo t is gonna come with a, oh, this is a sad story and a weird story. But this, I did this artwork for, I ran uh, the Turtle Rock Pro-Am. It was weirdly prophetic because there was this flaming five-eyed turtle. Thank you, bud. Anyway, I did that funky floating turtle head and strangely enough, um, and spooky, kind of spooky, the course got caught in a fire and we lost that course later that year. Uh, so it's kind of a weird, very weird supernatural event. Christmas Halo T-Bird coming with that turtle rock towel. That is a cool. So why the bonuses? Well, some of these discs are worth a lot more than the amount you're paying for your prize pool. And then some of them were more common, like the Halo Christmas T-Bird. And so I figured, hey, let's add a little bit of bonus so every prize prize package is worth at least the cost of your pull, if not more. Jennifer Allen, Rock 3, oh, dropping prizes. It's coming with, hey, it's coming with one of these sweet, uh, this giant pins. It's coming with this mini insert. You pop that inside the mini, disc with disc giant art. You pop that in the mini, and then the back of your mini has a pad for your knee if you have a tricky putt that you're going to need to make from your knee. Christmas edition Halo Beast. We're gonna put that with another disc giant towel with artwork. This character is called Master Blaster. We saw him in the prize package. This is a little guy in a space suit who's shooting out discs out of his palm. Four prize packages left to build here. We've got one more Jennifer Allen. Rock, rock three, Halo Rock three. Orange with a purple foil stamp. This is, ooh, this is good. This is gonna come with a swirly flying skull. 20, these are probably 2014. Um, it's going to come with a 2014 Reno you know, Disc Golf Association Swirl Mini. If you don't know, I'm president for the Reno Disc Golf Association, so how about that? All right, it's gonna come with that, and we're gonna toss in a Mystic Palm Magnet, okay? That's what's going on there. Hey, everybody, look, it's a Halo Christmas Edition of Steer, but what's this one come with? Three-eyed alien towel, okay? That's what that Mystere comes with. I think that we've got 45 prizes here, but before I actually post for this, I'm going to triple check that. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's gonna, we're gonna have a couple extra. Just a second. I saw that I had a couple tasty bonus prize packages left, so I grabbed a couple more discs. Look at this Halo Christmas Edition T-Bird. Okay, hey, this is, that's a great, Halo T-Bird is a great disc, but what's it gonna come with? What's it gonna come with to make it super tasty? This is a hand-blown glass mini, um, highly collectible. People freaked out when we gave them these in the players pack for that tournament, that Turtle Rock tournament. This is gonna come with that. One more Halo T-Bird Christmas Edition. It's going to come with a disc giant, it's called Cloison pin, enamel pin, that's a better way to say it. It's gonna come with a disc giant enamel pin, and it's going to, it's going to come with a three-eyed alien foam mini insert, and it's gonna come with a disc giant magnet. Two prize packages left. We're gonna go with Halo Holiday Beast. It's going to come with one more limited edition. Thank you, sir. Hand-blown glass mini. All of these are one of a kind. And that has a 
the head of a three-headed monster alien bird. And they've all got heads that are these giant eyeballs and they're freaky. And so that prize package is pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. And one last prize package here. Halo Holiday Edition Mystere. It's going to come with a double stamped lizard girl. If you see it, it's like I, I was originally well known for my artwork for some artwork that I did for LVC that was pinup style. And then too many people got offended, were, were upset by that style of art. I still have some stuff coming out like this. It's because, well, I'm telling stories now, but I was a tattoo artist for ooh, 20, maybe 20 years. And one thing about pinup art is that it has a very deep and interesting history. As a tattoo artist, one thing I'm gonna tell you is this, look it, I'm not saying it doesn't objectify women, but there's an interesting thing in that some people that are into this feel the opposite, that they feel that it empowers women. Look it, I'm not supporting that or arguing against it, but one thing I'll tell you, out of all the pinup tattoos that I ever gave, 40% of them, interestingly enough, we're, were on women, okay? So look at these things mean different things to different people, but a lot of people like this art. So it's in here with this Halo Mystere. There it is. It's going to come with the last sticker pack and a disc giant magnet. And that is the last of our prize packages for this week's prize pull. So if you haven't done so yet, head over to the Disc Giant Facebook page and get your pulls for this episode of the weekly Disc Giant Prize Pulls. Scott out.